All right, y'all. I picked up this Cabela jerky gun. Cabela's about 40 bucks. Uh, got my deer back. Uh, I'm gonna make up some jerky. And uh, I'm gonna let the meat thaw out real good, and then we're gonna get started. Um, now, they're real easy to assemble. I got the uh, jerky fitting on it right now. They just screw on. It almost uh, works like a caulk gun. Um, just like a caulk gun. Um, but they're about 40 bucks. And I uh, went to Rural King, picked up some uh, jerky seasoning. This here is hickory. Hillbilly, I tried before on the strip jerky. And it's real good. So what I'm going to be using is the pepper. Now, i got enough here to make up a batch. I already used some earlier on some strip jerky in my smoker. But we're going to use the pepper. Pepper's good. Um, I'm going to let my meat thaw out. And uh, when it's ready, we're going to hit it. So, let's see how this old Cabela's uh, jerky gun works. See in a bit. Alright y'all, now here we go. I got my deer burger thawed out. It's ready to go. I got my cure. I got my seasoning. Which is, uh, this is a peppered seasoning. It's really good. Um... I got everything I need. I'm easy to measure in the cup. And as you know, we're going to be using a Cabela jerky gun. Um, first, I'm going to season my meat. And it calls for three tablespoons of seasoning. So let's go ahead and one, two, three. Now, if you want to make it a little stronger, a little more seasoning, you can just, you can just add a little more seasoning. No big deal. But you can't add more cure. So if it's calling for uh, three tablespoons of seasoning and two tablespoons of cure, you could add four tablespoons of seasoning, but you gotta stay with two tablespoons of cure. This is the way it is, and that's something to remember. All right, now I got uh, I got that in there. Now you can mix uh, your water. A yeah, quarter cup to each pound, so I got three pounds, so that's gonna be three quarter cups. So let me get some water here on the burpee. All right, let me see what we got. I get three quarters of a cup. That's about that. All right, I got Roman please up. I want to mix this up real good. I can't wait to try it. Now we gotta mix this all up, and I'm gonna let it uh, season good in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and make my strips and do a dehydrator and cook them up. All right, so what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go ahead and add my water. I'm going to mix that up real good. Get my seasonings real good in that meat. Now you want to add this water so it's going to glide through your gun. You want it to come out like toothpaste. Just mix it up real good. I 
Tell you what, I'm gonna add a little more to seasoning. Cause I like mine seasoned good. Wash my hands here. I'm using the pepper, so that's gonna make it a little spicy. It's gonna make it good. Let's call them for three. I'm gonna put a couple more. Smells good already. I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight. Let it season up real good. Wash my hands up. Man, I'm hoping this turns out good. Like I said, my, uh, just got my deer back. And while I make up this jerky, uh, I canned, uh, me and my wife canned some deer meat today, and we had a little left over, and she went ahead and made me lunch. Oh, uh, that was good. She made like gravy with the deer and put it on mashed potatoes. Mmm, that was good. Alright. I think we got her ready for the fridge. I'm just gonna get me a saran wrap. I'm gonna put that over. Yeah. All right, we're gonna let that marinate up and uh, check her in the morning. Get this jerky done. Now you want to make sure you clean your counter off real good anytime you're working with that raw meat. Um, make sure you get it all cleaned up good. And then we're letting that jerky marinate. And, uh, we're going to check that out tomorrow and I'm going to load my gun and get the dehydrator out and we're going to make it some jerk. Some deer jerk. Alright y'all, see you in the morning. Right, y'all. It's been about 12 hours since it's marinade. Um, smells good. And what we're going to do now, we're 
We're going to get our meat ready to load our gun. And what you do I'm going to make little balls. I want to make them oh, about that big so they drop down in your uh, in your gun. Get some of these made up. You don't want to make them too big. That's pretty good size right there. You want to drop about three down in your gun. Then you use your plunger that comes with your gun. Get it packed nice and tight. I'm going to make up about six of these. We're going to try that. Five. Wash my hands real quick. Okay. Okay, what you want to do? Take off your fitting cap. You want to make sure you got that gasket on here. They give you two gaskets. You want to make sure you got that on there. Keeps it nice and uh, tight so your burger ain't coming out the end. Okay. Your gun comes with a funnel. You just screw that on the end. Plunger. So let's load this up and make your ball. Get them down in there. We'll do about three. And I'm going to plunge it. Plunger. Yeah, let me get that nice and tight down in there. You want to fill it up to about an inch and a half before you get to your opening. And I might have to make up. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. You know air bubbles. Alright, let's see about right there. About an inch and a half on the opening. Okay, you can take off your funnel. Sure your gaskets on good. Get it nice and tight on here like that. Now I'm gonna squirt these right out on them to my trays. I'm hoping it don't stick. I don't know, I've never done ground meat. But let's see how it works.
It seems to be working nice. I'll have you take a look at that here in a minute. I'm gonna use my little butter knife just to cut it off the end. It's coming out real good. Give it a little butter knife. Make a few here, and I'm going to show you. It is spreading really good. I'll do one more. Take a look at that. I didn't make mine real long. I got them, you know, good size going to sandwich bag, whatever. You want to take some to work with you or whatever. There you go. Hey, it came out nice. All right, that's one tray. I'm going to go ahead, make up these trays, and get them set up for my dehydrator, which is, this is the Cabela's dehydrator. And uh, I've used it a couple times, and it works great. So... All right, let me go ahead and make up some more balls, get my gun loaded. And uh, pretty simple. Um, let me get my gun loaded, fill my trays, and then we'll continue on. But yeah, that's turned out nice. All right, let me get this done. All right, y'all, I'm down to my last tray. I got enough to make two batches. So, let me go ahead and get this last tree done. Man, this really comes out of this gun nice. I'm impressed. A lot easier just to pinch it off. Like that. One right here. All right. The last tray. So you want to leave them at least an inch and a half, two inches apart, so they dry good and evenly. All right, let me get my lid. Alright, let's get it to high. There you have it. And we're going to go three hours on the high and turn it down to medium until done. When you know they're done, you can bend them without breaking them. So, let's give that some time and I'll get back. Alright, y'all, while we're waiting, now it's very important to clean your gun really good when you're done. Now your kit comes with all the cleaning accessories you need. Make sure you take it all apart, clean it very good. Um, it's very important to keep it clean. All right, y'all. It's been five hours, and I believe it's done. I'll shut it off here. out let them air out good let them cool down um looks like they uh turned out great we're gonna try one here in a minute get these all unloaded Where's that Cabela's turf? Where's that uh, Cabela's jerky gun? Man. I have to give it a 10. It's a 
can give it a 10. Works great. Let me tell you what, this turned out nice. Put them all out here. That's a nice clay of jerky right there. Good. Some good deer jerky. Bella jerky gun. Mm. Get y'all an excellent.